Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rain Plays Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Uh, this is just another pre-dungeon episode, and me probably going to be completely failing at getting certain items. And pulling off a specific glitch. Uh, but yes, this right in here... Piece of heart. So, that's all taken care of. Back to the dark world. I'll likely also be grabbing a few extra eps uh, not episodes, wow. Um, a few extra, like, side items. Um, hopefully the cape, if I can pull it, I, if I can pull that shortcut off. Yeah, no, I cannot get up there yet. Um, I'll, or I have to take a different route. Either way, for the time being, uh, I will have to go around. Ooh, ooh, one thing I am going to have to grab, though, is... That was random. Uh, is the shovel from the guy here. This is a flute player uh, who was brought into the dark world, who gives us a shovel to try and find his flute. So, we light world. Yep, that would be his ghost. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, buddy, we saw your ghost. Congratulations. Please tell me he's not gonna... Crap. Okay, apparently we're gonna have to light world out of this place. Um, because otherwise we'll get trapped and so on. But anyways, he's just gonna play his flute and waste our time again as soon as we get right up to here. At any rate, dig. More dig. More. I believe it was around one of. Was around one of the trees. It's always in a random place. But it usually does appear around one of the trees. What the? Apparently the animals still randomly pop back up. <sighs> boring digging is boring. But, this is our most effective quick travel method after we get it. There we are! And we get the flute! This music surely holds a mysterious power. Now, we take this back to the guy up here. He will ask us to play it one last time. Please take it. If by chance you go to the village he lived in, give it to a tired old man. His mind is getting hazy. Time to give him his final request. Farewell, random flute playing NPC. Farewell. I 
and he turns into a tree. Now. I think there is a Dark World entrance, or a standard Dark World portal we can get to. Um, if memory serves, it's in Kakariko. Am I being brutal slightly? Yeah. No, nope. what the? It may be the the third sword that can cut signs only. But yeah, again I may be wrong. Hmm, I forgot we can't even get up there until we have Okay, I'm going to check and see if there is in fact a Dark World portal hammerable now. I can't even remember where the second dungeon for this is, to be honest. Oh, also, as soon as you get the Master Sword, the guards step up their general stuff. You can see these were green in previous episodes, now they're blue, because we have the Master Sword and thereby somehow can kick more R's. But hey, that goes without saying. Alright. Yeah, that's a fake. What the? Okay. Uh, was it down here? No. No, it was not. I just wasted more time. Well, it is a side episode, so I suppose it can be forgiven. There are t maybe one or two dark portals here in the, uh, here at this end of the world. Ooh, ooh, hoo, hoo. I just remembered we can now get something rather special. Arg, I need to go from the top, apparently. But, as I was saying, something special we can get. Oh, while we're here. And we unlock the true power of the flute. The bird. Which may or may not be equal to the word. But yes, that allows us to teleport to different points around the map. And over here we go. I don't know why I keep just switching back to the whatchamacallit, the boomerang by default. Eh. Anyways, we come down here. Now, this over here will lead you out. However, if you come up here... Ooh, demonic-looking statue with a puddle of blood inside of it. What do we do? I cast Magic Missile. Hey, blast you for waking up me from my deep, dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir, but now I will get my revenge on on you. Get ready for it. Er, uh, is that okay with you, sir? Ha <laughs> I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day. See you. Now, what that actually does is halves the cost of using our magic items. 
which is extremely useful, especially when you've got uh, some of the higher powered ones. Oh, sorry, chicken. Now, what I need to do is get up here. What I need to do is I need to get into the Dark World portal from the top one. I don't remember where exactly the exit is. Uh, I'm guessing, well, it's quite obvious it's somewhere over here, but... The exact positioning is eluding me. Ow. I hate those guys with a burning passion. Um, crap. No! 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 Off. My. Case. Now, this should be the exit. Oh, wow. Apparently I was just a bit off. Real issue is whether or not I'm actually going to be able to get into the Dark World version of Kakariko. Because, as you can see, you can hammer this down here and get through. However, I'm not sure whether or not that block's gonna be... Yeah, it is. However, they give us a clean shot back through. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention those guys. But now, we are back in Dark World Kakariko, and this will allow us to get two items. Uh, two critical items, anyhow. And it has a lot of weird, uh, little side games. Like, many games, I should say. That's a thief. All NPCs in this town are really thieves. And that is the... That is just the random little place that we, uh, never actually found. Or never actually got to, I should say. That guy's awake, so... Ah, uh, I can't get that until after, uh, this dungeon. Now. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Ah, crap. Phew. Alright. It is a little bit iffy, but I have to be standing right on the right point at the right time. Okay, I get it. Come on. Arrgh. Okay, this may take a while. think what I need to be on. Okay, hold on. I will pause and look that glitch back up because I want to do it because that sword is immensely helpful. Anyways, I will see you then. Alright, everyone. Um, apparently... Mm, no, that was incorrect. Apparently you have to be very quick on your timing with this, uh, but if you press it just as you're running off a clip,
Hmm, apparently that wasn't right. No. <sighs> this is going to be a pain in my arse, isn't it? Apparently you have to press it just as you're about to fall off the cliff and you'll start moving forward a little bit. Arr. This is probably going to be well beyond me. Because I'm already having issues with it. And I, I know how to get it early, otherwise you just go in and... Got it! No. No, I did not. Crap, man. Seriously, how the crap? Okay, apparently, yeah, uh, I'm not doing this right. I don't even remember where I'm supposed to go after this. I'm sorry for burning your guys' time. I really am. But, God. At any rate, there's not much we can really do with this. Now, there is a route back down that way. However, I want to see if I can get up to a specific point. Okay, if there's a route back over here. Yes, yes there is. That good that's good. That means we will be able to get a specific item early. allows us to become invisible for a short time and not aggro enemies. Eh, not the most useful, admittedly, but still quite fun. At any rate... Now, um... One thing I do have to do. Uh, head back to the light world first, of course. Where is that flute? And... Oh, come on. Really? There's no... There's no actual route at the top of that. <sighs> Alright, then. Oh, oh. It, it at least brings us outside of the cave. There is an area at the top of the mountain we need to hit for a specific item. Ow. Oh, come on, don't kill me. Alright. Anyways, back up here. I remember, I believe, at least, I told you guys about something specific I wanted to eventually hit once we got the Master Sword. Well, it's here. And I just got teabagged by a spider thing. Uh, 
Okay, you know what? Screw you guys. Now, Dark World, yay! So, that's a fairy that I needed otherwise. Um, now, we come up here. Now, we jump down here. Now, we run over here. With the Master Sword, yeah! And it's a tablet. In which we have to use the Book of Medora again. Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the magic of Ether. Or Ether, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Yes, this is the second of our uh, special full screen heading items. Now, the third one, if I can remember exactly where the entrance was to get it, is over here. Well, this isn't the entrance to get it. No, that's the... That's a different route. Um, ow. Ow. What we need to do is get up there. That is our eventual goal. The reason for such being that is our third screen hitting item. Holy crap, you guys. Anyways, um, I suppose this concludes the pre-dungeon. Um, I will see you all... Well... Oh, yeah, this is actually where we need to be for the pre-dungeon. I will see you all on the next episode. Until then, take it easy, and this is Rain, signing off.